Hey, this is Steve, Decroic Glassman. Thanks for watching my series on laminating Decroic bevels and jewels. These are some raw ones, still need to be done up in Dicro. After a while, you're starting to buy bevels and boxes. Boy, my bench is a mess. This is a real life bench in progress. <laughs> I mean, when I'm flying, I've got stuff all over the place, and besides that, I'm moving, so i um, moving my shop into another area, so I'm very excited. Well, on this video, what I want to do is reinforce this idea that there's a top side and a bottom side to dichroic glass. And if you're really, at this point, unfamiliar with the top and the bottom side, take that bag of scraps that you got in your kit and scratch with an exacto knife this is an exacto knife scratch very close to the edge a line and see and then hold it up to the light and see if you can see the scratch if you cannot then you then mark that side or get familiar vis, visually on the difference because on this side when you scratch it and then you get to looking at it, you're going to see that the side that the dichro is on looks the most mirror-like. It looks like front surface mirror versus regular mirror that's just a silver coating on the back of glass. So the real idea, the big idea on seeing the edge the properly is seeing that little silvery edge. You can see it really good right now in this bottom. That silvery edge, when you turn it over, you don't get that. So let's reinforce that idea of the top and bottom of the glass. At this point, what I want to do is I want to place my bevels and my jewels as close together as possible so that I can maximize my glass efficiency. So I'm going to put this big one right here. And I was just playing out here, but the little one could go inside and then something bigger. So you really because dichroic is very expensive. Um, on the CBS website, this sheet of glass, RB2+, Plus, which is around eight bands of color. Look at that reflection of my lamp uh, into the... Um, this sheet on the CBS website would run around, depending on where you live, around $265, uh, $265 for this 19-inch circle. That's how they come, is a 19-inch circle. In fact, I've cut one thing off of that. They come like this in a big old bag and that's a full sheet. It's a 19 inch circle. So what you can do is you, if you can decide go into draw a 19 inch circle on a piece of cardboard something trace out a 19 inch circle um, poster board, scotch tape, two poster boards together. No, it would make it on one. Um, Sorry about that, loud motorcycles. My shop is out here in the back of the house, which is closest to the highway. Um, do a 19 inch circle and lay some bevels down on what you might have in mind or with a compass and plot it out and see how many shapes you can get on this circle. And that's really going to tell you if it's worth it to you or not. For Let's just say that I get you the sheets for $200. These are 3 inch circles. You're going to get a lot of three inch circles on this sheet. Um, there's quite a few pieces just right here. And let's see, in the whole idea of how much usage, you can see I've got plenty of room to do a lot more. This would be a pretty expensive bevel in anybody's book. Um, at $2 an inch, these are three inch. You figured nine square inches because you're going to create a lot of scrap. So that's $18 plus the dichro, or plus the bevel, I'm sorry, is what that one's worth. $18 for me to sell it. $18 plus, let's say the bevel costs a dollar. That's a $19 bevel. Um, this one's even more. This is 4 inch, so that's 16 Even though it's round and you're cutting off the corners, you're going to create lots of scrap. And you get stuck with it, and you, and you get a big box of it, and that's just that's just the deal. <laughs> I guess somebody can say the same thing with wood chips, but eh. you try to maximize your efficiency out of this glass because it is so expensive. So lay your pieces out, 
do it, trace around them with a pencil on that piece of board and that'll tell you if you get 150 pieces on this sheet because a lot of them are little jewels and stuff um, and it cost you $200 you're basically um, at this point it's a buck a bevel it's a no-brainer I mean glass wise averaging it but it'd be more than that for the big ones but if you're doing lots of little ones squares um, V shapes half circles you're going to get a lot of them on there in fact maybe I should do that on a on a I should go ahead and do that too in the future here yeah, probably talk myself into this so anyway if you could do that at home if you have a lot of bevels though so it works both sides so let me know as I develop more ideas I'll definitely do more videos and send them off to you guys these are gonna be gorgeous I got a project already bye